Hey guys, what is up? Mister with another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Dolami D6 2GB Android TV box. To all my new viewers right there, if you guys are not yet subscribed, just look below the video, click on the red subscribe button, and then ring the little notification bell so you guys will get notified for all future videos for every thing I post. It's going to be great. You're going to be first to hear about all the new APKs, add-ons, and much, much more. Okay, guys, when you purchase the device, this is the box you're going to get. On the front, you have uh, a bunch of quick specs and a picture of the box. And on the back, you have more detail about the box itself. Now, it comes with your power adapter and HDMI cable to plug into your TV, as well as a universal remote control, which can also be used to program your TV as well. Now, the box itself is really beautiful. Uh, the top, you have these four squares, which is kind of like a mirrored glass finish with a really small, simplistic logo on it. And of course, on the front, you have a quick power sleep wake button and on the back you have your power port ethernet AV HDMI and also audio port as well when you look on the side you're gonna have a expansion micro SD card slot with two extra USB ports on the back you have the information with the full rubber free so the box stays nice and cool and when you first plug in the box into your TV you get a little nice LED with a time and type of internet connection connected. The uh, box itself was really, really easy to set up. I just went through this little quick guide. You can choose your language, you can choose the scale, the TV, or the network it's on. You can also choose the network type if you're Wi Fi or wired. And then once you're done, you're going to be greeted to this default launcher. I myself, in the end, decided to change the launcher because I don't like itself. But this box is really nice because you can actually use third party launchers by just going to downloading off the Google Play Store and then going to the settings. And as you can see, I'm changing it here to the Simple TV Launcher because I think it's much, much nicer. Now, once I got the uh, Simple TV Launcher configured, I installed a lot of apps, uh, third party apps, not not on the Google Play Store like Live Net TV, uh, Mobdro, um, you know, a Perfect Player, a bunch of apps for IPTV that actually worked really, really smoothly. I've experienced no issues at all. Um, in this example, I'm showing you uh, Live Net TV. Uh, channels load extremely fast with no buffering, no issues. I was able to load any third party application with my best side loading method by just going to the browser and downloading the app directly to my box with no issues. Uh, movies as well load with no issues. Uh, full 1080p HD movies. Uh, right now I'm going to go ahead into Terrarium and show you that the quality of this box that I provide is extremely amazing. Nice, crisp, clear picture. Don't forget, this is also a 4K box. So, you guys, if you have a 4K compatible TV, you can watch 4K content. Uh, I've had no issues loading up my own custom M3U lists. And, of course, using the Perfect Player app. which is And Kodi itself was really smooth. This is the first time Kodi is loading uh, in real time. Nothing in the SIP sped up. Took about maybe 15 seconds, uh, which is not, which is pretty good for a box like this, and for the price that you're getting. Uh, with Kodi, what I did is I was able to install all my favorite third-party add-ons with no issues, uh, and configure it really, really quickly. Here, here I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, a example link by playing a movie in Exodus. Again, the the picture itself is extremely amazing. I was able to test uh, multiple add-ons, but in this video, I'm going to go ahead and just show you uh, the Exodus add-on because it's one of the most popular. But it should work with any add-on you throw at it. And now I'm going to go ahead and stream a 4K video off YouTube, 60 frames per second. I got absolutely no buffering and no issues at all. So I really recommend this, guys. If you guys have a 4K compatible TV and you like 4K box, I recommend getting this box as well. Now, in regards to the actual benchmarks, Geekscore gave it a single multi-score of 608 and a multi-core of 1451. As I can see, uh, this is all the detailed information about the CPU, model, memory, and 
that's basically it guys and if you guys have any questions comments or concerns let me know down in the comment section below don't forget to follow me on twitter and i will see you guys in the next one bye bye